What's poppin guys, it's Abai from the Sabai Cartel. Welcome back to another Naruto Ultimate Ninja Lag 4 video. As you guys know, I have covered every single character in a character guide format in the game. So, welcome to the second episode of my team guides, or the second video of my team guides. Today, I'm going to be going over my second team, alright? And this is what I like to call the all-star team, alright? This is a team that can be used for any encounter, and this is a team that can be used in ranked or player match, for any, and I mean any, type of player, alright? So, uh, let's talk about the team. As you guys know, if you guys want a character guide for every single character that's in this team, you know, I'm talking about ultimate jutsu cancels, grab setups, uh, and more tips, then go to the description below. I will have a link to uh, my PTSD, you know, Madara, and also my Minato character guide. So yeah, this team does involve PTSD as the main character, or you could pick Madara or Minato. Mainly, I like to pick PTS Lee because he's mainly good for almost every situation, right? Um, next, I like to pick my boy Madara. And I, you know, I like to pick the young Madara because, you know, he has a lot of potential in the mixtape world. He just released the mixtape. I said on the previous team guide, you know, I don't like to pick this Madara because he's old. He got bitch slapped by his bitch a lot. All of that good stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be picking Shattered Heaven Madara. And, of course, he is going to have the Majestic Destroyer Flame, which it's going to be kind of unfortunate, but there is a reason why we're letting him, you know, have the Majestic Destroyer Flame. And, of course, last but not least, we're going to be choosing Edo Minato, all right? Edo Minato did get slapped by um, Kushina, so that's why, you know, he has all of those scars in his face. But it, it doesn't matter, right? Like, he's still going to be uh, a lot of... He's going to be of good use. So yeah, let's pick this team and let's move on forward to the battlefield where I will tell you guys tips with this team, how to play with this team, what's this team's purpose, what every character, uh, you know, will do in this team and yeah, all of that good stuff. Alright guys, so like I pointed out, right, this is my all-star team. This is a team that is designed to counter almost every single team or every single character in the entire game. Like, I am super confident with this team. If you guys can master this team, you will be able to almost literally get any freaking win in Naruto Storm 4. Whether you guys are an average player, whether you guys are a noob, whether you guys are intermediate or very good at the game, this team works for almost any team. I'm talking Ultimate Jutsu spammers. I'm talking Rasengan spammers. I'm talking PTSD players. I'm talking Madara players. Like I said, this team is just very, very good for almost any situation. There are specific characters that this team cannot counter, but that's another video for another day, right? Alright, so we're going to start off with PTS Lee and the role that he plays in this team. As you guys know, PTS Lee is extremely, extremely fast. And if you guys want a in-depth guide on PTS Lee, like I said, it will be in the comment, in the description below, I mean. The main role that PTS Lee has to play in this team, and that's why I choose him, you know, for like the first pick, it's the damage, all right? As you guys know, PTSD is very, very fast, and you can do major amounts of damage with him. His freaking uh, pill cancel It's very, very easy. Like, you guys can see, it almost takes no skills to activate a pill with this guy. On top of all that, like I said, PTSD is very, very fast, which, you know, you guys can do the ninja dash, and then you start up your combo immediately. You don't even have to, you know, freaking uh, cancel the opponent's sub with this character. You guys can just do a ninja dash and then just, you know, straight up start destroying um, the player with, um, you know, with the circle combo, okay? Uh, so that's the role that PTS Lee plays in this team, all right? It's just straight up speed and destructive power, all right? That's his only role. And also, you know, PTS Lee is very good for countering Renegon Sasuke players and, you know, the last Sasuke... Uh, also, you know, Minato players that used the combo a lot. Uh, also, regular Hashirama players. Like this, the role of PTSD is to counter fast characters, okay? Also, his Awakening, I recommend it a lot. The Awakening is in the game. People don't, play your, don't pay your bills, so definitely Awaken if you do have a chance to Awaken, okay? Now, uh, another reason why Minato and Madara are in this team is because... The Majestic Destroyer Flame and the Rasengan plus PTS Lee's uh, combo. Yo, didn't I put this card to block? Oh, okay. Um, it's very, very good for breaking guards. So you guys can call in both supports at the same time. And look at this. The guard is almost broken. I mean, by the time I start up my next combo, the guard will be completely broken. Let me repeat that again, guys. 
the opponent is guarding. You guys have Minato and Madara. You guys call them both in. You guys start your circle combo. Okay, Minato actually misses Rasengan right there. But anyways, it's going to break the guard completely, completely fast. And that's also another point and another reason why PTS Lee is in this all-star team, all right? PTS Lee is extremely fucking powerful, especially when it comes down to breaking guards. Now, like I have said many, many times, you know, am I going to regret doing these team guides? Yes, because if a skilled player gets his hand on this team, it's going to be a nightmare playing ranked and player matches. But honestly, you know, Crab Connect 2 isn't doing anything to fix the online in this game. And I'm not really even enjoying the online in this game. And I have to make Storm 4 content. So, you know, that's, this is the Storm 4 content I'm going to help. And I know it's going to help a lot of newbie players and average players. So that's also why I'm making this video. So, Lord, forgive me for the sins and forgive me for sharing that this is a really awesome team to destroy guards with, alright? Now, like I said, if you do manage to get Minato to land in the guard, as well as my boy Madara's Magician the Square Flame, the next time you start up your combo, you should be able to break the guard, alright? So, that's the purpose of PTSD. You guys are probably wondering, alright, Salvaje, what about Bitch Boy Minato, alright? Like I said, guys, this is... Th this team it's good for countering all sorts of teams or almost every single team and as you guys know Minato's kunai are really really good So if you're facing a square combo type characters, you know range characters. I'm talking Shino, Utukata, Temari um, What's this other bitch called? Uh, PTS 1010 which by the way, she's not that bad. She's actually pretty good But yeah, uh, if you're facing characters like that switch to Minato and start abusing the hell out of kunai Minato is very very fast So, you know also abuse the hell out of his chakra dash abuse the hell out of his ninja move Which confuses the hell out of people. Holy shit. My control freak just fell out of my ps4 one second guys while I put it back. Oh God, okay, this is very unprofessional, but I'm just gonna put this thing back into the controller it's not even a control figure, it's, it's a gel tab, which is really good for the PS4 controller. Remember, guys, that this video is not sponsored to you by gel tabs. It's sponsored to you by bananas. Eat one banana every single day. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, right? Uh, Minato is for square combo type characters and mainly just characters that just like to run in general. Like, we all know Tom and Jerry uh, type people in online and ranked, okay? So if you're facing those characters, switch to Minato. You know, start abusing the hell out of his shooty cans and shit. All right, and also, if you have a chance... Rasengan! Alright, go for the fucking Rasengan, because it's extremely overpowered, okay? Also, another reason why this Minato is in this team, it's because of his tilt, okay? If you guys can manage to, like, you know, break the guard, go for the tilt. Oh, wait, I can't really, you know, place the tilt. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. Break the opponent's guard, don't go for an ultimate, just land the tilt, alright? Especially if you're facing a square combo type character like that, you can teleport straight to him, alright? As you guys can see right there bam it's going to be extremely extremely effective that is the purpose of minato in this team not to spam rasen guns and you know not to freaking spam ultimates now where there, wait wait up, wait up there is uh something you guys can also do you guys can call in madra and then go for uh rasen gun but you can only do that i actually fucked that up i thought you know the majestic square flame wasn't going to hit naruto but yeah, you guys can call in Maldra, and if you guys, you know, if you're not facing the opponent, you guys can go for a Rasengan. And sometimes the opponent is not going to see that Rasengan, unless, of course, he's paying very, very close attention. It's really, really good. It's a really, really good smoke screen. And that's, of course, why Maldra, you, you guys want Maldra with the Majestic Destroy of Flame. Another thing that you guys can do, call in Maldra. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. But yeah, you guys want to call in Maldra, and then also call in Minato, and then dash. Okay, so, you know, you guys can get to the opponent, maybe the opponent doesn't see Minato. Remember, you guys want to start abusing the hell out of Circle uh, with this PTSD while you guys are doing that, all that good stuff. Why is Madara in this team, right? Well, Madara is in this team to counter characters like uh, regularly, uh, Might Guy, and also PTSD. That's mainly the sole purpose of Shattered Heaven Madara. As you guys know, Shattered Heaven Madara is very, very good against, you know, PTSD players. If you guys want to see some straight-up savagery, Madara gameplay, check out Madara Uchiha Rises, one of my Madara series. Um, but yeah, uh, PTSD players, you know, you guys don't want to straight up dash at them. You guys want to uh, dash at them and then, you know, cancel your dash and then just start abusing the hell out of circle because PTSD players, you know, as soon as they see you coming towards them, they start pressing circle, okay? And by the way, that's not something that I would recommend, guys, all right? Uh, like I said, if you guys want, you know, combo cancels with these characters and, you know, uh, ultimate jutsu cancels, all of that stuff, then I recommend you guys check out my character guide uh, on these uh, characters individually. 
because they are very very good and they will teach you how to use these characters to the fullest extent and with these three character guides you know from these three characters and this team guide you guys are going to be straight up destroying nubs uh in the online all right another thing you guys can do you guys can uh teleport with a tilt switch to ptsd all right it's not that fast but ptsd's combos are fast which does give you a chance you know to definitely go for it uh you guys can also go for mother's tilt and then call in minato and you know just for pressure you know minato is going to be freaking you know uh dashing with his rasengan the opponent is going to be forced to block uh, now, one of the things that I wanted to do, right, is to freaking, you know, get Madras Tilt and go for the Rasengan and then, you know, have Minato's Rasengan land, but I have tried that a lot of times and I don't think it's possible, guys. So anyways, yeah, grab setups, uh, ultimate jutsu cancels, all of that good stuff. Check. Oh, wait, one, one last thing. And then the last thing that I'm going to mention is character guide. If the opponent is one of those opponents that is guarding all the time and he's also running, spam Minato's ultimate jutsu. I don't consider... You know, spamming ultimate jutsus, I think it's super cheap and fucking stupid and you're not going to win like that. But if the opponent is running away constantly and if the opponent is, uh, you know, guarding all the time, spam Minato's ultimate jutsu. It's really, really good for long range. It has a good hitbox and on top of all that, it's really good at breaking the guards for long range as well. Also, if you're having some problems, you guys can always uh, call in PTSD at close range, okay? As you guys can see right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this team guide. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Uh, 50 video likes within 24 hours and the next team guide will be out uh, sooner than you guys expected it. Uh, like I said on the first episode, uh, I don't plan on doing these team guides every single day. But if you guys do support the series, uh, I will be bringing you guys the team guides as soon as possible. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Also, don't remember, you know, Minato's Rust and Gun thing, alright? Um, oh, also, you guys can do the Flying Raging level 2 to also teleport yourselves across the map if you're facing square combo type characters, switch to PTSD or Madara, and, you know, start up your combo. I forgot to mention that. I guess only the people that made it to the end, you know, were able to figure that out. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the team guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, like I said. Peace out.